If you've ever searched for good fighting games on Roblox, it's likely you might have come across a game called Combat Warriors, which I myself and some friends have played for quite a while. If you don't know what Combat Warriors is, it's pretty much a game where you pick a weapon, spawn in, and kill as many people as you can before you die yourself. The gameplay is pretty rinse and repeat, but for some people it doesn't get old. I've personally played Combat Warriors myself for almost two years, and I have decided to make an iceberg video on some things that have happened throughout the years of Combat Warriors. If you don't know how iceberg charts work, it starts from the tip of the iceberg, which is the most well-known facts and events, but going down the chart, things get more obscure and less known. This Combat Warriors iceberg will have to go into two parts since there is just so, so much stuff that me and my friends have uncovered. And before I begin, I have to say that not everything is fact-checked, so most things are alleged and may not be the most accurate. I have created this chart on my own time, and most of it comes from my own experience or from sources that seem most credible to me. If you see any inaccurate information or something you want to see accurate, Added, please let me know in the comments. Please do not harass anyone shown in this video and please take note that there are a couple sensitive topics that may not be suitable for everyone. And lastly, thank you to everyone who helped make this video possible and I really hope you enjoy. Crates going up. Crates going up refers to the airdrops that occasionally fall from the sky in game that give the player an RPG and utilities, but sometime after the version 1.0.0 update, the crates started going up into the sky. This does still happen occasionally and it has not been fixed yet. Rocket Jumping Rocket jumping is literally just using the RPG to propel yourself onto a higher platform. This is done by shooting it far enough so it won't kill you but enough force to send you flying. Car this refers to the car added in the city map, which everyone fights for but loses immediately because of how buggy it is. If you want to make it spin aggressively, you just go into shift lock and shake your mouse. Loppy Loppy is an extremely popular Combat Warriors content creator with over 100,000 subscribers. What the heck? All jokes aside though, Loppy has a really loyal following and an active audience. He's also the founder of Loppy's Rat Swarm, a clan based around his own community. He's one of the few players who were around when the game was still in beta testing and also later became a moderator for a while. Pay to win game passes. Since the last update, a bunch of game passes revolving around added luck have been added for daily spins and case openings. The prices for luck range from 300 to 2000 Robux, and it's just really not worth it. 12 times EXP. If you buy the Vanguard and Gold game passes, which is a total of 1498 Robux, you receive an EXP multiplier of 6 times. In addition to this, Weakens grants you double XP, which results in 12 times EXP. This is why you see so many level 500s in literally every server now. To give you an idea of how much EXP you gain from this, I have played Combat Warriors for 2 years and I'm only level 211. So make of that what you will. Exploiters Exploiters and combat warriors have been around since it became popular. Popular exploits include exaggerated movement like super speed, super jump, auto parry, aim locking, and even instant self revives. Some people dedicate their time to releasing updated scripts, making the exploiting situation almost impossible to resolve. Anti-cheat the anti-cheat in Combat Warriors is notorious for being really inaccurate. You could be running around and the anti-cheat would randomly teleport you back a few studs. It slows your movement for a few seconds and sometimes resets you, giving you this really annoying respawn cooldown. Super Jumps Super jumps are extremely popular due to the lack of movement provided by the game, and some people figured out that if you have a high frame rate, you can do a super jump by rolling, spinning, and then jumping. A sliding super jump was also then found for mobile players since they can't spin. Boss fights. Boss fights were recently removed probably due to the difficulty in programming one or just disinterest in doing so. If you were around for boss fights, defeating the boss and dealing the required amount of damage gave you a special case that gave you exclusive cosmetics. Beach Dwellers Beach Dwellers is a term used in the Combat Warriors community regarding those who just stand at the beach and don't do anything. If you join any server, there's probably going to be at least one Beach Dweller. Stud Stud is another really popular Combat Warriors creator who makes videos with the popular title of I Became, I Unlocked, or I Pretended. Hitboxes 
Hitboxes are a major part of combat warriors determining whether your character is hit by an attack or not. Due to latency or ping difference, people do complain about the hitboxes as they can cause disputes over whether or not the hit should have actually counted. Hitboxes have sort of forced people to record competitive matches which does help ensure the rules are being followed fairly. The Combat Warriors community does include a lot of members from the Femboy or Furry community. What the hell? Since they are a major part of the Combat Warriors populace, this results in lots of slander focused towards it. Multiple votes for maps. Whenever a round ends and you have to vote for a map, you may notice that the number of votes adds up to more people than there are in the server. This is because the gold and vanguard game passes I mentioned earlier gives the user a total of 6 votes for a map. This results in crossroads literally always being picked. Carry bugs. Carry bugs refer to the glitchiness of picking up a down person. This started happening after they changed the carry animation in update version 0.6.0. This bug doesn't occur as often anymore, but it will occasionally show up. Global chat. Global chat was added in the last update and allowed a person to send a message to every active server for 500 robux. There is no option to turn it off, so people have found ways to abuse it. There was also a guy who had spread the gospel literally every 5 seconds in global chat, resulting in him getting banned. This is kinda crazy cause he probably spent like tens of thousands of robux. A uh, quick editor's note, as I was looking for that gospel guy, I did find this other situation where there was this anti-furry guy who would just type out these paragraphs on stomping furries or whatever and just being a degenerate about it, so it was it's pretty funny. Battle Pass The Battle Pass was added in update version 1.0.0 despite the uh majority being against it. The battle pass costs 999 robux and consists of a variety of items unlockable to tier 50. <laughs> Combat Warriors YouTube content. This refers to the type of content that is produced by the Combat Warriors content creators. Some of it is pretty questionable or is literally just the same thing published every week. Elemental. Elemental is arguably one of the most well-known persons within the Combat Warriors community. He was the founder of the popular clans Redacted, Olympian's Wake, Legion, God Hand, and Hidden Vanguard. All extremely popular clans. He also has a YouTube channel with 160,000 subscribers displaying his skill in-game and his discoveries of different techniques that people still use today. Z7 Z7 is another well-known Combat Warriors YouTuber with over 30,000 subscribers. He is responsible for creating one of the biggest Combat Warriors clans called Anarchy. E-Dating E-Dating, which is another term for online dating, has a big presence in Combat Warriors. 1v1ing my boyfriend. Some of these online dating situations do cause controversies based around underage dating and child endangerment, which is some of the topics I will be covering in part 2. Bypassing after the introduction of the clans tab, players were given the ability to create in-game clans for a cost of 100 Aether. This feature allowed them to upload a custom decal to serve as their clan logo. However, some individuals began bypassing Roblox filters and uploading not safe for work content. The situation escalated further with the release of the spray paint game pass as people started spraying not safe for work content onto maps. Blanks. Blanks in the game refer to weapons giving the impression of a hit marker, but the game fails to register the actual hit, resulting in no deduction of health points that should have been taken away. Blanks occur due to ping difference or just trashy hitboxes. There are some ridiculous scenarios where the hit should have obviously counted, but instead it would literally just phase through the person. Frozen Water during the winter update, the water surrounding Crossroads was turned to ice, allowing you to walk pretty much anywhere bordering the map. This caused a lot of bugs being found, which was really funny. 2000's Archive Secrets the new city map that was introduced in the last update has a couple hidden secrets. If you go into a specific Halloween styled house, you can find a demonic looking person that teleports you to an altar that kills you upon collision. Another secret is at the top of the lighthouse, which has a cage that plays a sound every time you interact with it. There are probably other secrets scattered on this massive map, but I won't go looking for them in this video. Glitching Below Beach After an update to the swimming animations, a bug started occurring where the player would no clip under the beach after leaving the water. There used to be a way to do it on purpose, but I'm not familiar with the specifics. It's pretty funny seeing someone's chat bubble poking out of the ground, but eventually it got annoying enough that the devs decided to patch it. 
CWCC. CWCC, short for the Combat Warriors Clanic Community, manages the official ranks for each region, whether it's for 1v1s or for clans. They also release constant updates on events that occur within the Combat Warriors community, helping call out people that cheat or commit explicit acts to others. If you want to check out this server for yourself, I will put an invite link in the video description. Comp Rules in ranked matches, the Combat Warriors Clanic community has created a set of rules to ensure a fair competition. There are official rules set by the CWCC for 1v1s, cross-region 1v1s, ranged 1v1s, clans, and scrimmages. All of these different scenarios have unique and specific rules covering various aspects such as abilities, ranking system guidelines, map boundaries, and more. It is important that these rules are followed, otherwise you must forfeit a round or you can ruin your reputation for cheating. 40 PM 40PM is a popular YouTuber with around 100,000 subscribers, known for being really good with the crossbow. His content used to be focused on the game Arsenal, but he later transitioned to Combat Warriors, becoming one of the first major YouTubers to cover CW-related content. Since last year, 40PM has started uploading more on variety Roblox content and has become more or less inactive on Combat Warriors. Fishbug Fishbug was a weird glitch that contorted your body to be horizontal, giving you this goofy walk animation. This happened whenever your character was displaced by the carry bug or by anti-cheat. There was a brief period where the fish bug was an extremely common glitch, resulting in some pretty funny encounters. Many people have asked me in my past videos on how I can do this on command, and to do this you need to have free cam. You can get free cam either through exploits or being a content creator, which is how I have it. In the case that you do have free cam, you go into shift lock, look all the way down in free cam and then leave free cam. There also used to be a bug with the Molotov that lets you do it on command, but since then it's been patched. So quick update to the fish bug. To my knowledge, this is actually unfortunately no longer possible. It was quietly patched like a few months ago and the method I just showed doesn't actually turn you into fish anymore, but it does allow you to do this weird infinite slide glitch instead. Old maps. Around the time weapon skills and potions were added, two original CW maps were quietly deleted from the game. These two maps included Mortem Insula and Outpost, both which were pretty massive maps with tons of detail. Nobody really knows why the owner decided to remove the maps, but a handful of people were a bit upset since Outpost was one of the main map competitors with Crossroads, which helped add variety to the map pool. Glaive Hate Glaive hate refers to the negative reaction to the glaive being added. The glaive was the second to hit weapon to be added at the time. People hated it because it was cheaper than the dragon slayer, but it also had a shorter cooldown. Everyone in the community who had the dragon slayer beforehand was upset because they basically grinded for a two hit weapon for nothing. HB one shot. HB stands for Heavy Bow, which was a weapon introduced in the update version 0.5.1. On release, the Heavy Bow could literally one-shot people to the head, but because of how obviously overpowered it was, it got nerfed to a two-shot weapon. Crossroads is too popular. Crossroads is an extremely popular map that is literally always picked. It is a really iconic map not just to Combat Warriors, but to Roblox itself. Even if new maps get released, Crossroads will still win the vote the majority of the time. In response to Crossroads always being picked, the devs made Crossroads V2, and in the map, the Pit of Fire has a sign at the bottom with a little message. Trolls Baiting Slurs Trolls baiting slurs refers to the people in the CW Discord who say part of a slur, most commonly the n-word, in order to receive attention or to be humorous. There are many other forms of baiting slurs and they mostly occur from new members. There have been cases where punishments were dealt out to the people completing the baited words. Rigged daily spins and crates. Since the addition of the luck game passes, we can pretty much assume that they have control over the winnings of the spins, meaning that it's probably programmed. This is kind of proven whenever you do a daily spin and it lands on something common in between 20 rare items. Iframes. Iframes, short for invulnerability frames, are used in games with dodge mechanics to help players avoid damage. Mortem Metallum, the predecessor of Combat Warriors, had iframes whenever you rolled, making one-on-one -on -one fights feel more skill-based. However, CW does not include this mechanic, and many players have been requesting its addition. So far, there hasn't been a response to those requests. Helix Grand Helix Grand was a pretty popular YouTuber who focused on Combat Warriors and Mortem Metallum content. He was also pretty well known within the clanning community for being a major member of Anarchy, but he has altogether gone inactive due to unknown reasons. Uh, Alright, quick editor's note, so as I was editing the video, I noticed that Helix Grand actually has uploaded like two days ago, so yeah, I, I guess he's back now.
DS fly skill. Weapon skills were recently removed, probably because they made gameplay really messy and broken. The Dragon Slayer weapon used to have a jump attack ability, which people figured out could be used to fly. To do so, you had to put jump attack in all of the 4 slots available for weapon skills, switching back and forth and cancelling it out in midair, giving you the ability to fly. Elemental has a video showing how to do it, and if you're curious, I recommend you go check it out. Well known CW players. Throughout the years of clans and competition, there are always going to be the few people that are more notable than others. To name a few, there are people such as Aki, who went number 2 global and is considered the best Asian region player ever. Hero and Cannabos Revenge, who both achieved number 1 NA and shared number 3 global. Liux, who was the first number 1 NA player and was the leader of the Tennessee clan. Besides ranking and clanning, there is also Oxrise being the first person to reach level 888, being the maximum level a player can reach. There's also Exolox, who was the owner of the clan RCU and was also the first person to reach level 300, acquiring the first custom chat deck given from the owner himself. Lots of credits are also due to Swiv and Cool200H for founding the CWCC and Vano Risen for making CW museums, recording all of the well-known clans and players and their achievements at the time. I will leave these games in the video description in case you want to check them out on your own time. Pride Month Hate if you are active within the Combat Warriors Discord, it is likely you might have witnessed Pride Month hate, which is literally just people conducting hate speech targeted towards members of the LGBTQ community during Pride Month. If you go back and scroll through the Combat Warriors Discord during the month of June, you can actually see the bans for homophobia go up throughout the course of Pride Month. Trapping Trapping is used as a term to describe people who dress and act as if they are the opposite gender. Combat Warriors does have a pretty large community of trapping and it does result in some pretty strange scandals. Stricter Rules Due to the diverse community of Combat Warriors, there have been multiple instances where the rules have been forced to be changed. An example is the word Niger that can be used in the wrong context, but there are some occasions where using it to describe the country can even get you banned. There's also the fact that due to the amount of trolls present during Pride Month, the moderators have to remain on high alert to keep the servers clean, but there are some occasions where the moderators would make poor judgement and give out punishments for unjustified reasons. An example of this was when a member openly mentioned that his religion was against the ideology of the LGBTQ, resulting in him getting banned from the server. Another instance is when a person said that the LGBTQ should exist, but it was a bit too much. This person received a timeout for basically no reason. It does seem that the moderators are just trying to do their jobs, but there's no excuse when it comes to silencing free speech. Like Uncle Ben once said, great power comes with great responsibility. Game Tech Game tech is the term coined for different techniques that have surfaced from more and more people playing the game. They are used generally to gain an advantage and can be used in many different purposes. Some of the techniques include reaching, which is flicking while swinging your weapon to extend the weapon hitbox. Another weapon tech that isn't used as often is the Beyblade tech, which is simultaneously using the chainsaw and spinning, making it propel you a certain distance. Other game techs include baiting, which involves the act of initiating an attack but not following through completely, tricking the opponent to engage. Another game tech that is used is called frogging, which is when you engage but instead of running straight towards the opponent, you jump over them, either forcing a parry or leaving their line of sight, allowing you to hit them from their blind spot. Carcinogenic Warriors this refers to the 2023 April Fool's joke where the owner of the game changed the game title to Carcinogenic Warriors, the joke being that the game causes cancer. <laughs> Custom Text Bug after the update that gave us chat tags, you were able to purchase one for 10,000 Robux, allowing you to customize how your name and text was presented in the chat box. Some people managed to break it by using the newly implemented chat box to their advantage, abusing it to make the text abnormally large, and even injecting scripts using chat, enabling them to bypass chat filters. When customizing the chat tag, you were able to change the text font, which allowed people to choose fonts similar to the ones used for the moderator or content creator chat tags, which people use to impersonate others and say incriminating things that would more or less ruined the reputation of the victim. Nowadays, the more serious text bugs have been patched and people can get banned for using fonts that are similar to moderators or content creators. Surfing Surfing was a bug that was found after the sliding mechanic was added in update v0.4.0. For some reason, you were able to slide on water for as long as your stamina lasted. This was also before the stamina was nerfed for sliding, meaning you could pretty much slide around the whole map without really doing anything. This was really fun to toy around with, but it was removed in the next patch. Alexer 
Alexer was a really well-known exploiter in Combat Warriors for a while. He was made public in a video made by Elemental. His simple avatar of a brown character with just pants and no shirt made it easy for people to create copy accounts to gain attention. His real account usernames were usually a jumbled mix of letters and numbers, probably to make it annoying for moderators to type his whole name out and ban him. There's actually a video on YouTube showing Alexer literally crashing a whole server. The video's quality is really, really bad, but you can make out the chat box spammed with invites to Alexer's discord server and him standing in the middle amid the chaos. This kind of exploiting capability was unseen in the combat warrior scene, which made Alexer stand out from the other run-of-the-mill exploiters. PS Price Change PS stands for private servers, which grants buyers an empty server with special commands to organize events. After the v0.4.0 update, the developers secretly changed the private server price from free to 25 robux. People saw this as an act of greed, causing some outrage from the community, since the owner was already making tons of revenue from his other sales. The server prices have since been reduced to 19 robux, still leaving some players unsatisfied, but in the end forcing them to comply with the new price. Mobile CW Controls after introducing Combat Warriors to mobile in update v0.3.0, people started complaining about how cluttered the UI was. Some screenshots from the time would show a crowd of buttons simultaneously on the screen, some of them even hidden under other buttons needed to play the game. In response to this, a small update was soon released that allowed users to customize the buttons to their liking. Legion Mortem to CW During the peak of Mortem Metallum, Legion was the biggest and strongest clan Mortem Metallum had to offer. After Mortem started breaking and his player base slowly dwindled, Legion made a decision to move their entire clan to Combat Warriors, introducing a huge wave of Mortem players to Combat Warriors. Boosting Boosting is a highly controversial topic, which involves paying someone to play on your account and gain levels while you are away. It requires paying large amounts of money and has caused multiple scam cases, all as a result for wanting some stats to be increased. On a side note, there's also alt boosting, which is when someone hires a person with higher skill to play for them during competitive matches. This is regarded as a big no-no within the clan community and can ruin a person's reputation if caught doing so. Longbow Shadow Nerfs Throughout the lifespan of the longbow, there have been many changes to the weapon, whether that be buffs, nerfs, or balancing in general. The longbow shadow nerfs refer to the problems that suddenly appeared with the longbow after an update. People speculated that there might have been a secret nerf that produced a side product of arrows going through targets or not counting as hits at all. Nothing can actually be done about this since there isn't really a way to prove this. This might also just be another classic example of the Mandela and placebo effect in action. 500 player servers Following the introduction of boss fights in version 1.0.0, the owner decided to experiment with 500 player servers, which went as well as you'd expect. Experiencing the immense level of lag during this period proved the game to be borderline unplayable since players noticed frame rates substantially dropping, for me personally decreasing from an average of 200 frames per second to approximately 80 to 90. After complaints from the community, the owner reverted the server limit back to 50 players. Alright, put on your seatbelts because this is a long one. Moderation Problems Combat Warriors has an extremely popular trend of bad moderation, whether it's abusing commands, negligence to major issues, or really bad PR decisions. When it comes to even looking at the mod selection process, you can tell there's issues already. The Combat Warriors team will occasionally post an online forum to apply to become a moderator, where they then receive thousands of applicants, but the thing people started to notice was that inexperienced and unfamiliar people that no one had ever heard of before would get the jobs, meanwhile the older players with experience inside the game and familiar familiarity with the community would just simply be ignored. There's also a very popular theory that the owner, Swenji, allegedly hires only female applicants. People started to speculate this after the community started seeing low-ranked female moderators pop up out of nowhere. And speaking of the moderators, there's lots to discuss regarding command abuse or neglecting proper action. I myself have seen moderators abuse commands in game, which can be really funny but really annoying to deal with. Some examples include a mod resetting everyone to menu to avoid a nuke, meaning someone wasted 9 
999 Robux for a joke. In addition to this, there was also a time when a moderator reset me because I got a crate before they could. Another situation was when a mod spent a whole game abusing flight commands. There's also tons of recorded moments where bans were unjustified or literally just made no sense. Some examples include the YouTuber ZZ for Zombies, who was banned for winning a 1v1 match against Tony, an individual I will discuss in part 2. It's worth noting that Tony had close ties with the moderators, suggesting he probably had them on speed dial whenever he needed them. After losing the 1v1 match, Tony would falsely report Z for Zombies to a moderator, resulting in him getting banned from the game. Z for Zombies has since created a video discussing the incident, which I will link in the video description if you're curious. Additionally, there have been other instances of questionable moderation decisions, such as someone being banned because the moderators mistook throwing kunais for shooting arrows really fast. There are only a handful of scenarios that people have told me about, with so much else that I would probably have to make a whole other video about it. In fact, someone out there has already beaten me to it. There's a YouTuber named Shuggy that made a few videos talking about the issues with combat warriors, and if you want to go into this rabbit hole, I recommend you go check out his videos. Besides the issues concerning mods, there's also lots to talk about the owner's behavior and decisions regarding the game itself. Swenji has had a history of making judgment depending on if the person involved was an alleged friend or female, resulting in some questionable choices being made. In some situations, Swenji wouldn't understand whole situations and do whatever he thought was best, other times leaving issues completely unresolved and letting people go scot-free. It also doesn't help that he literally left his own server, meaning that there is no foresight when major issues occur in his own community, leaving the few moderators who are still active alone to fend for themselves. Swenji's departure also raises the question if he's still involved with the game at all, stirring up some theories that he might have transferred ownership or hopped on an alt account named The Announcer, who occasionally posts small updates and announcements. Overall, the lack of activity and attention brought to the game is a reason for its slow but steady decline in player count, causing long-time committing players to quit the game in its entirety. Pre-nerf slide when the sliding mechanic was first added in version 0.4.0, sliding required barely any stamina. There was this bug where if you slid down a ledge, it would give you a little boost. This meant that on certain areas of maps, you could technically slide forever. The castle wall on crossroads was one of the places where you could do this, since the wall has these rectangular etches into the wall, which goes up and down, meaning your sliding would just continually get boosted. This mechanic pretty much changed how people played the game, until it was later nerfed in an update to take away more stamina. Tankfish Raid on January 14th, 2023, the popular Roblox YouTuber Tankfish conducted a raid on Combat Warriors. In his video, you can see him and his subscribers all dressed as Roman soldiers, running around killing anyone in the server. This video turned out to be pretty influential on some fans that played Combat Warriors, because a while after the video was posted, you could still see some Roman soldiers roaming around in servers. Femboy Warriors for the 2022 April Fools, the owner changed the game name to Feminine Boy Warriors Crossbros. Back in the earlier days of Combat Warriors, like back when bows had no animations, there was a ranged clan that went by the name of Crossbros, which eventually became one of the first known bow clans in Combat Warriors. I was fortunate enough to actually be a part of Crossbros, along with some other well-known players such as Astaroth, Wipes, Cannibal's Revenge, Max Lego Man 1, Sikor, Akasor, and Izzy's Leaf. Crossbros was one of the more well-known bow clans, mostly because of the big names that were involved with it. But unfortunately, like all good things, Crossbros eventually came to an end due to internal issues and conflicts. This led members, including me, to leave the clan, but today you can still visit the Roblox group and see some of the members that decided to stay, but the clan itself has been inactive for more than a year now. First TikTok Content Creator Back when Combat Warriors started giving special roles to content creators, YouTube and Twitch were the only recognized platforms for Combat Warriors, but as the game started getting bigger, TikTok began to play a major role in exposing the game to the public. This made the owner decide to add TikTok to the roster of recognized content creation, which led a person named Nolides, who's actually a good friend of mine, to be the first verified TikTok creator. Nowadays, Combat Warriors content mainly revolves around TikTok since most of the mainstream YouTubers and streamers have run out of content or just quit the game entirely. Dragon Warriors Dragon Warriors is a full-length Combat Warriors movie directed and produced by Z7 and the Anarchy Clan. It features some pretty well-known people like Cannibal's Revenge, Loppy, Helix Grand, Cloud Strike, Elemental, Talented Much, and much more other people. They also partnered with a variety of other clans to help film it, creating two parts that are in total around an hour long. The movie plot in a nutshell is about a man named Raze who gets in series of problems and finds his way out. 
Ancient Roles Ancient Roles were special roles given to those specifically who played combat warriors during pre-alpha and were reasonably active within the community. The few that were given the role had a special green chat tag titled Ancient. I Show Speed if you don't know who I Show Speed is, you've probably been living under a rock for the past few years. Speed is a really famous influencer with over 20 million subscribers, and during one of his Roblox streams, someone recommended that he play Combat Warriors. In the short clip of him playing, he's literally just confused the whole time. Speed played about 5 minutes of the game and then left due to the amount of stream snipers targeting him. His reaction to Combat Warriors is extremely funny to me because it really shows how overwhelming the game can be to new players. Spawn Room this entry talks about a glitch that used to occur back in the older days of Combat Warriors. Since the anti-cheat has always been the same with minor updates added to it, prior to the updates, the anti-cheat would sometimes teleport you into an invisible box far to the side of the main map. In this invisible box, you can see avatars spawning in and out because this is technically the menu screen area, basically a purgatory in between the game and dying. There actually was a way to do it on purpose. To do the glitch, you had to turn your FPS all the way down to 1 or 5 frames per second and spawning in the game. Because of the low FPS, your character would fall extremely slowly, causing the game to think you're flying, and as a result, triggering the anti-cheat. So yeah, that's the end of part 1. This video literally took almost a year, mostly because I had a ton of things come up, but part 2 will begin production soon and hopefully come out before we all die of old age. But I guarantee that part 2 will house more serious topics and therefore be much more interesting. Anyways, if you did watch all the way to the end, a big thanks to you and an even bigger thanks to every single person that helped me with this video. As always, if you find my channel remotely entertaining, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.